Hello everyone, and welcome to Volcano Manor. I'm Karuma. I am here to give my review on this uh, lovely place here. It's a bit grim, honestly. It's, uh, it's a bit lackluster in color, but I thought I might as well give my opinion on this lovely place since I already did a uh, another manor. To begin with, I would like to say that this entrance area is like magnificent pretty astonishing like if you just look at architecture like the carvings rug just matches perfect now it goes up the stairs it just looks beautiful the torches are red you know volcano manor um the gold tinges just everything just outlines perfect i'm gonna be discussing um as much as i remembered to write down the decorations for this place are fantastic if you look at this table, this is exactly how it should be set up. You know, there's chairs and they have stuff in front of the chairs. The beautiful decoration on the centerpiece. The lovely fire with the chair in front of it. That little uh, extra to give you really the feeling that somebody would be sitting there. Lady Tanith with her amazing quest line to get you to fight the person that is, you know, that person. Rykard, he is a shard bearer. To the Elden Ring. So that means he has a piece of it with him. And you can only get it whenever you kill him. And she gives you the quest for that. Up here is a traitor. See, they killed somebody already. Um, and they have like this grand meeting area. It's like this beautiful, beautiful, like the head of the house would sit here. And everybody else would uh sit over here and eat or whatever. Beautiful fireplace. As you can see, Rykard. I, I just love this area. It's so amazing. Like, they, this place is so clean and nice looking. So, like, it's well lit there. It just looks good. And, um, stability. I don't know if it's me. I don't think it's me. My PC is pretty decent. Um, I think it's just the stability and the largeness of the game, probably. Sorry for, uh, the random cut and me suddenly being back up here. Uh, my game crashed randomly, so I hope it doesn't happen again whenever I go down these stairs. Uh, I don't really know what happened or why it crashed. It's interesting. Maybe it's just everything loading. Um, I would like to talk more also about this Crucible Knight. And why would there be a Crucible Knight here in Volcano Manor? You know, the shattering happened and everything went to shit. You know, all the demigods, you know, chasing power and... The struggle with all them fighting um beliefs changed and his beliefs aligned more with volcano manor surprisingly than with the golden order because of how much was changing and how much it was depreciating just decaying because of the fall of america she just disappeared radagon disappeared the greater will left them just everything went to shit. so People started believing what they were uh, being influenced by. And to cover it, you know, with a blanket term, blasphemy, because that's basically what they believe. To go against the Erd Tree and everything that it stands for, the Golden Order, that aligned with the Crucible Knight's beliefs more than anything else, surprisingly. That is why he is here and valiantly standing to guard Tana. So this next area that we're going to be getting to is the Drawing Room. And this will have a few more characters. Rykard, uh, he's a shard bearer. And he gave himself basically a demigod serpent or something like that. And he fed himself and they became one. And now they want to eat every other demigod. It's kind of weird. Um, this is Raya. Spoilers, uh, spoilers, spoilers. She is a snake raised by... Rykard, well not, she is um, Rykard's descendant from my understanding, and she's being raised by Tana, and not many people know it besides us after we do her uh, side quest, which I think is pretty interesting. This is Bernard, he will uh, sell you, okay, well I guess he's not going to talk to me because I didn't do the quest yet, 
but he'll sell you like many different ashes of wars a few decent ones he is definitely worth it to get his armor you can get his armor in crumbling fair missoula which is a little bit later on in game you have to go to a secret area and uh he'll basically invade you trying to kill you after you uh kill Rikard. um both their quests are worth it uh, there's a lot to this, actually. This looks like just a little hidey hole area, but um, as you can see, there's a bunch of rooms, you know, gathering rooms, little private rooms. I think that's uh, Raya's bedroom, but if you hit this wall right here or roll into it or something, I forgot that uh, snail was there. If you roll into that wall, it will reveal that it was hidden the whole time and um, tasked to go through this wretched area absolutely horrid it's uh filled with a bunch of ghouls and goblins like snakes not snakes uh, snails and shit um i'm making it look really easy but um there's a shit ton of stuff here it's kind of a maze from my understanding there's probably hidden walls that haven't even been discovered with this weapon you can um this is another hidden wall I actually never uh, found this. It's pretty interesting. Went the other way. Uh, the other way is where you're really supposed to go. So there is a Bloodhound Knight down here. I almost forgot, but um, make sure you take care of him because he will beat your ass. So uh, It gives you a good item, Bloodhound Claws, so that is worth getting. And uh, you kind of just want to keep pushing forward. And then this will bring you out to basically Mustafar. Uh, pretty crazy looking. And this isn't even the whole area. I think it's beautiful in its own way. I did like uh, Revenge of the Sith, so that might be why. But this may be a little biased. I don't know why that looks like dog shit right there. Wow. Um, yeah, they have decent enemies. Really perfectly scaled, I feel like, to this area. Um, they have a godskin noble up there. That one, I'm not sure if that's noble. I think so. Um, then they have a whole farming area in there. You're basically going to be navigating this whole area until you get over here, and then you get all the way down there on the uh, by the lava, and you jump across doing this whole platforming thingy, and then you go up in the elevator right there, and it brings you up. You fight the boss. And then you get to the back end of the manor. I guess I could take you through it. Uh, show you the enemies. Uh, this is the same type of person that uh, Raya is. That girl who was having the major hunchback. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, she has, like, a weird uh, thing where she can disguise herself in some way. Uh, you need to be careful over here because there is a uh, Iron Maiden somewhere over here. I think it's in there, in that building that had the uh, Stone Sword Keep that was requiring one. Yeah, now you need to go through the mini castle here and there is a farming area coming up for the black dumpling which boosts your damage if you have madness now this will be the way forward to progress getting to the godskin noble As you can see, it's very much like uh, 
Mustafar. Lava everywhere. It's totally ruined. It's a horrible looking area. In a sense of, uh... Everything's... Swallow swallowed by, uh... Just by this... Volcano. It's taken things back. I don't know why you would even want to build here. But, you know, I'm not the builder. I didn't get paid to get those buildings. Um, church up here is going to be... Uh, I forgot about this guy. Holy shit. He's kind of cracked. It's the first time I ever got something from him. So, I'll show you the boss fight, too. Probably not going to be narrating too much over it. Considering I'll be focusing, like... A lot, probably. And don't judge me. I am going to be summoning Tish. Uh, the godskins are the worst. They input read way too much. Also me saying that they're too fucking hard to do that shit. Yeah, this is a area you want to be, because um, this item is valuable for a quest if I remember right. I think it's for Raya's quest. I think if you give that item to her, you'll be able to begin her quest line. And if you continue along this way, running past basically everything, <sighs> also, if you happen to run in the lava or get in a situation where you do, it doesn't really do a lot of damage, so I wouldn't be worried about it at all. Um, you want to get away from this Iron Maiden as fast as possible, though. Because she can hit you through walls. I think there's a shortcut right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut. Oh shit, whoops. Yeah, so this is like a little... Hidden shortcut area. Pretty sure you can do a skip uh, right over there to get to here. If you were to die somewhere along the way, since I got this grace, I could run back here and uh, run to the elevator. You know, the one that I just brought down. Go up! I'm sure rolling off will bring you to somewhere else, wherever that uh, led. See, these guys are afflicted with poison. That guy has fucking crazy whip. You can pretty much run past everybody here. I think if you kill that fat guy up there, uh, he gives you something. Will not be doing that. I will just be running past, showing you everything. Oh fuck! Uh oh, oh my god! How did I do that? All right. Now, uh, if you really wanted to get ambitious, this is Rykard. He is a shard bearer. I'm not going to be doing that fight. I'm just going to be uh, reviewing everything. 
I'm going to be giving my general consensus and opinion on it. This boss fight is pretty easy for where it's at. I mean, you're in Altus Plateau, and this is like one of the easiest bosses in the game, arguably. And you get to use a pretty good weapon. You unlock the Serpent Hunter, which is uh, a spear, and you can only have one of them in your inventory at a time, unless you probably cheat it or something like that. Um, a Strength Scaling, which is pretty good. It has zero requirements, which I find absolutely fantastic. I would rate this whole area an out of 10 review for Volcano Manor. Considering, I feel like this area has the best, one of the best side quests. You know, you get to fight, you get to get the Blasphemous Blade, you get to fight Rykard. It's an amazing boss fight. The, the two stage boss fight is absolutely fantastic. The arena is great. If you look just everywhere, it's high and low terrain. I'd imagine you can be almost anywhere in this whole castle. I have not explored at all. And I'm going to be so honest, I don't know if I can. There's so much. It, it would probably take me quite a long time to find all the secrets here, which I have not found. And I'm not sure if anybody has found all the secrets. Uh, I didn't even know you could get down there. I don't even know how you get over there. Um, there's a ton of areas to visit and see. And you can appreciate the environment just by looking so amazing and you feel like you're in the volcano you feel like you should not be here this area is so dangerous and so deadly and the statues of everything the collapsed buildings just the just the absolute sheer size of this place and the amount of detail in the size of this place is amazing color scheme is pretty realistic but it is a bit lacking in land and there's a lot of things that I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it isn't perfect, which is fine. I'm not saying it has to be perfect, but I feel like it's not perfect. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I know that there is better and prettier location. And I hope you all enjoyed the video and enjoyed my commentary over the gameplay. And let me know if you'd like to see anything else. If you'd like to see me fight more bosses or do different things. If you enjoyed this video, hopefully you'll be there for the next one. See you then. Thank you.